In our top story tonight, anti-China protests have spread into central Vietnam, a day after factories in the south were set on fire. More than 20 people have reportedly been killed and about 100 others injured. The latest riots took place in Ha Tin province. Protesters set fire to a steel mill owned by Taiwanese conglomerate Formosa Plastics Group, Taiwan's biggest investor in Vietnam. The company says its Vietnamese workers staged a strike, which quickly became violent. Some Chinese workers were attacked. Reports out of China say four other Chinese-owned companies were hit by riots. Protesters are angry with Beijing for placing an oil rig in the disputed South China Sea. And there have been repeated skirmishes between their naval vessels. This is the worst anti-China unrest in decades, and it has forced hundreds of Chinese nationals to flee to neighboring Cambodia. Cambodian police say more than 600 Chinese nationals have crossed over by land. But Taiwanese firms appear to have borne the brunt of the violence, mistaken by rioters as being owned by mainland Chinese. Here's one Taiwanese worker who managed to get on a flight home. The Vietnamese have called for tough measures to bring the situation under control before foreign investors pull out of the country. Police have arrested 600 people so far. Singapore's Foreign Affairs Ministry says it is closely monitoring the situation. The ministry confirms that a Singapore flag was burned by demonstrators on Tuesday and says it has conveyed its strong concerns to Vietnam over the incident. At least one Singaporean has cut his stay short in Vietnam because of the riots. Another Singaporean also had a close shave with rioters at a factory. They are, they are trying to, 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 to come into the factory and I, you know, I don't know what they are carry any weapon or not, any, any whatever, you know, try to break, break against the gate and come into the factory. Three or four hundred motorcycles, you know, going to, to enter to your factory. When you see that, that kind of situation, you will be, you know, very scared on that. 